You have to find him, Honeywish hissed, her entire body trembling with the force of her words. She gasped heavily, her breath coming in short pants, and her eyes were frighteningly wide in her honey-colored face. Dogez made a low noise of concern and started towards the heavily pregnant she-cat, but Honeywish lunged forward, cornering Briarstock again. You have to find him! You can't stop looking! You promised you would take care of things as the deputy! You promised! Briarstock staggered backwards, exhaustion making his movements slow and awkward. Honeywish! Briarstock sighed heavily, his shoulders slumping from the weight of his disappointment and grief. His fur was matted with mud and stray bits of bramble. Behind him, Oakpaw and Lionstar were in no better shape, nursing cracked paw pads and muscles worn from the endless running. Honey wish, Briarstock repeated, then drew himself up as he took a deep breath and met the frantic she-cat's gaze, trying to speak past the grief that threatened to choke him. We followed the monster the two leg got in for as long as we could, but once they crossed the bridge, there were too many of them, and the scents were too strong. I'm sorry, Honeywish. We lost him. Briarstock trembled as he spoke. It wasn't only Honeywish's grief that struck him, but his own deep disappointment and the shock of losing the soft-spoken, kind elder so suddenly. You promised! Honeywish repeated, her voice tearing with grief. She ran forward, butting Briarstock heavily against his chest, her claws tearing at the ground under her. You promised you would do the job as deputy for me. You promised you would take care of the clan for me. Briarstock didn't react as Honeywish shoved him again, his heart too numb to care if she did suddenly decide to lash out at him with her claws. Doge started forward and pushed between the two cats, murmuring softly to Honeywish, though the grieving she-cat ignored the medicine cat, low growls and broken meows of grief slipping out of her like a heartbroken bird call. I know, Briarstock murmured, his eyes heavy with grief. Behind him, Lionstar was silent, letting Mossleaf gently dab chewed leaf onto a torn claw the Moss Clan leader had ripped out while he was chasing down the monster. But Lionstar did not say anything. He had spoken to Honeywish too, and had told her of how hard all of them, especially Briarstock, had tried to save Silverfang. But this was a matter between Briarstock and Honeywish, and Lionstar would respect that. Briarstock closed his eyes, still seeing the shape of the monster that had taken Silverfang. Perhaps if he ran into the thick two-leg nest and searched on foot, he could find it, but... Briarstock sighed heavily and glanced over Honeywish's shoulder at the empty prey pile, where Redkit was staring out from behind a bush, his eyes wide and expression solemn. The kits were skinny and their faces gaunt with hunger. In fact, all the clan cats were skinny, too skinny, and despite the chatter of birds in the greenleaf trees, the clan had not had a proper set of meals in a long, long time. Worse, Lionstar had scented dog by the two-leg lake near the clan territory. Briarstock frowned and glanced at the assembled cats. Between all of them, there was only himself, Squirrelleap, and Lionstar left as uninjured, available warriors to feed and defend the entire clan. Briarstock lowered his head and looked back at Honeywish, his gaze dim. I'm sorry, Honeywish. I promised you I would do what's best for the clan. And I am. We can't risk going back out for Silverfang right now. His voice sounded too loud in the silent clearing, with all the other clan cats gathered. Briarstock glanced over his shoulder and met Lionstar's gaze. After a moment, the Moss Clan leader nodded, though grief darkened his eyes. Honeywish let out another broken sob, but didn't protest further, Doge's murmuring in her ear. Suddenly, Mossleaf let out a gasp, then a yowl that caused all the gathered cats to jump to their feet, fur bristling. The tabby forest spirit cat had dropped the crushed herb she had been working with and was staring into the air in front of her, her green eyes narrowed and her fur bristling out in every direction. For a disconcerting moment, it seemed as though the slashes of green that were woven into her coat almost glowed, like the emerald light of sunlight pouring down through the leaves though it was gone so fast that it had to be just a trick of the light. Lionstar started towards his mate, his ears flicking in concern, but before he could ask, Mossleaf whipped her head towards him, her breath coming fast. I can feel her! Mossleaf gasped, her voice raw with excitement. I can feel the forest spirit! 
The other cats blinked at her in confusion, but before they could react, the bushes to the side of camp rustled, and Robin Kit burst out, leaves sticking out from every direction in her fur, and a huge smile on her face. He's awake! Lizard Paw is awake! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Warrior Cats Challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. And we are here in Moss Clan where Robin Kit is currently celebrating the fact that her brother has woken up. So Lizard Paw has finally, finally woken up after his very, very long slumber as a cat who carries a lot of the spirit of the forest blood and powers in his veins. When the forest was hit by those meteors and took so much damage from the forest fire, he kind of went into shock, sort of the way that Willow did. So Willow and Lizardpaw, after being asleep for an entire season, drawing strength and power from the ground, have finally recovered enough that they're able to wake up. And oh my goodness, wasn't that so cute? I swear these two are just so adorable. And little Robin Kit has been taking care of her big brother this whole time, bringing him wet moss and making sure like bugs aren't chewing on the leaves that he's been sprouting all over the place. I just love that. It's just so adorable. So we are currently currently going through some really sad things with the clan right now too and you can actually see Briarstock is still working his way home still not in the best mood in fact let me make sure that he has his free will back there we go but working his way home not in the best mood he has searched again and again and again to try to follow where the monster that took Silverfang went so as you guys learned in the intro where the cats were discussing the current events Silverfang was taken they don't know why but he was taken by the two leg who had had come and invaded camp and what the effects of that two leg having invaded camp are going to be we don't know yet we're gonna have to see what they are let's see she wants to sniff robin kit robin kit is very busy reuniting with her brother but i think and then she also wants to play with another pet i think she definitely needs uh dogaze as our medicine cat definitely needs to come over here and maybe maybe we'll do like a little pounce not to be too rough on him, but to, like, make sure Lizard Paw's okay. Oh my gosh, they're so precious! I love these two! So today we're going to be primarily following Lizard Paw and Robin Kit around and seeing what they get up to, especially because this is Lizard Paw's first day awake again. But we're also going to be making sure that Mossleaf can come over and she can go ahead and interact. Let's see, Mark, and maybe she can be petted. That's okay when she's the forester of the spirit cat. And interact with Willow, because Willow is back which means if the cats need to they can finally grow things again and they can freely harvest things that they have grown again we can do that because even though there's a lot of different plants and we can start like watering them now so that we can harvest from them the plants usually stop producing a harvest after two or three harvests so don't worry that it's going to seem a little bit too overpowered it'll all balance out in the end let's see and it looks like lion star is off to pounce that would be oak paw we'll let him do that and then we're going to send oak paw and lion star out to hunt because the prey pile is empty except for the honeycombs that Silver Fang left behind. And unfortunately, the honeycombs are of horrifying quality. So I've been thinking if the honey and the things that the cats collect are of horrifying quality, then they could have a big chance of making you sick. Like a... Um, probably like a 50% chance at least of making the cat sick. And I really love talking with you guys last time. In fact, where's Red Kit? Because, oh, he's playing with the little bull. He wants to be tough enough. He wants to be tough enough to help out with the hunting too. But I really love talking with you guys last time. And a lot of you guys really loved the idea of using the honey as a snack for kits and maybe for queens and maybe for elders, but like not the warriors. They need something a bit more substantial. Oh my gosh, Red Kit. You just want to be a tough little warrior don't you ah look at him oh he's so cute i love these cats so much just look at him go look at him go you guys i'm sorry i'm just so happy to be back in the clan today and yeah we'll, we'll talk more about other things later but yeah so i like the idea of using the honey the kits aren't hungry right now because they just ate the last of the food in the prey pile but we will make it so that there's a chance if it's horrifying quality anything including medicine like all of the the other things that we use for medication then there's a chance that it could make the cats sick and I am kind of concerned because now that it is green leaf or 
yeah, and we'll be able to start growing so many things. I don't know just how, like, overpowered. Okay, where li where's Lizard Pa going? He's off to groom his little sister. He wants to present a gift to her. Oh, my goodness. He wants to groom her. I wonder if Dogaze was telling him how, like, how much she has helped out. Oh, and Dogaze wants to groom Silver Fang. Oh, my gosh, that's so sad. And she's feeling a little bit lonely. Socialize with Tomi. Maybe go talk. Okay, where are you going? Be pounced on by Briarstock. All right, Lionstar, I think that Dogez needs to have a talk with you because your son just isn't a tree anymore. So we'll let these two go ahead and socialize for a minute. But I think Briarstock, Briarstock, he's, he's feeling really lonely and having a hard time. Who is the cat? I think his apprentice would notice. So let's bring, okay, let's go ahead and bring Oakpaw over here. And he should go ahead and run up to Briarstock and be like, Briarstock, why did you run off to, like, go out and try to find Silverfang again? I thought you said that you would stay here. So that's what's going on there. But yeah, with Mossleaf, let's see, Sniff Willow. Mossleaf is probably very excited not only that her son is doing better now, but that Willow is also back because that's going to provide a really important connection for her to heal from the events that have happened to her. Oh, and then also I saw that Lizardpaw, look at this, Lizardpaw wants to eat a fish, and I think Mossleaf, who also is in the mood for a fish, is going to go out, and now that we know Willow's okay, she would actually focus on fish before anything else. I think that Mossleaf is going to come over here to the little pond, and she's going to try to do a little bit of fishing so she can get Lizard Paw some food. Because she was taught how to fish by Crowfeather before he, he managed to vanish. Alright, and Willow, you go ahead. Here, you go you go search for a galaxy and stay out of our way for a little bit. But yeah, now that Willow's awake again and we're going to start using her abilities as the spirit of the land, it's going to be interesting to see how we start using the plants again and how we start using, like, the honey again. Oh, he's grooming his little sister. Oh, that's so precious. But it's really good because then we'll probably be able to prevent a lot of illnesses. I think that we definitely will still up the chances of the cats getting uh, sicker and there's going to be more fights. There's going to be a lot more negative random events that could happen. So don't worry, we'll try to bring some balance to it. But just hang in there while we start harvesting up a lot of stuff and then needing to use it quite often. So we do have some special like random events that should be happening. Don't worry, trust in the random generators and trust in drama. And really right now we need to start feeding the cat soon because otherwise we're going to have random generators to roll left and right. Oh, and be best friends with Doge is interesting. Let's let you continue socializing and be like, but is he really going to be okay? And meanwhile, these two are spending a little bit of time socializing. Oh man, Sniff Tomy. I think Briarstock's having a really hard time right now. I don't think those two are going to be able to hunt either. Oh boy, that's going to cause issues. Oh, and what's that? Congratulations! Squirrel Leap is now an expert at all things that creep and crawl. I could have sworn you were already an expert, Squirrel Leap. And then Tommy freaked out. Squirrel Leap caught a ladybug. And then Tommy didn't catch a critter. Squirrel Leap caught a map tortoise. Thank goodness. We're getting a little bit of food for the clan. But food for the clan to prevent them from getting sick is one of our first priorities. And then we also need to... Let's scooch these over here. Anything? Oh, plasma bug! Sweet! Oh, he can be do giving that to Do Dogez because he's got, like, Dogez right here so we can transfer all the useful items to her. Man, now that everything has kind of calmed down again, well, it's not calmed down because Silverfang's gone. I think Lizardpaw would be a little bit alarmed about that. Okay. Oh, and I forgot how she brought over the red bean berries and everything to give to Dogez. Now she's gonna wander off and interact with her brother. That's adorable. All right. Lion Star, are you done talking with Dogaze? Dogaze uh, wants to sniff Robin Kit, so let's go ahead and have her do that. And then Lion Star, you've got some, you've got some energy, so you come over here and do some hunting. Stock for prey, because we need to feed the cats of the clan. We're not really doing very good on that right now. All right, Whew. but yeah, so. All right, today we're just going to kind of sit back and we're going to see what the cats are going to get up to and try to keep everybody okay. Oh, yes, the mouse leaf just caught a koi fish. Sweet. She can feed that to lizard paw. Let's have him go over. I think that he's going to be like really exhausted. Probably not. He already isn't a very good hunter. He knows how to do a bit of fishing, but I think he would come and lay down over here while he waits for mouse leaf to fish up a fish because he just sort of stopped being a tree. And Tommy is resting. Did you catch anything, Tommy? <sighs> I think Tommy, yeah, Tommy gained the hunter trait, but Tommy has not been able to catch anything just yet. Oh boy. Oh, is he trying to go out? He's trying to go out to pounce Oakpaw. No, you need to do a little bit of hunting, Tommy. Come on. 
All right, tragic clownfish. Oh, that's so useful. That's so useful. We we probably should use that tragic clownfish on Briarstalk at some point because tragic clownfish really helps when the cat is feeling sad or lonely, uh, when their social need is really low, or when their spirit's just really down. Good. But yeah, let's just see how the clan sort of settles in. All right. Another, oh, a starfish, sweet. And Tommy improved his hunting skill. Maybe Tommy might finally catch his first bit of prey and show, oh, and Squirrelip just caught a pygmy Komodo dragon, sweet. And show that he can actually do some hunting soon. But let's go ahead and have Mossleaf nuzzle her son and just be super happy. She can groom him for a little while and then she can share the fish, the koi fish perfect quality that she managed to dig up for him. So there we go for lizard paw. Oh my gosh, yeah, lion star. Cool! So Lionstar just got another another piece, so he got a beetle. Man, the cats are really on a roll with being able to be more expert hunters. We're just not having... Oh! <laughs> Alright, well we can name this uh, the Lionfish. Let's name this Lionfish. So Willow just found a new galaxy, so ignore that, but that's kind of funny. But yeah, Lion Star just got a new skill. So let's see, creeping and crawling. So he is now an expert in beetles and has a higher chance of locating rarer beetles, which is quite good. So homing whiskers, cats with homing whiskers have caught at least 20 rare prey. As a reward, the amount of time it takes to find prey is decreased. <gasps> that would be so useful. Oh my gosh. He's about halfway through his life and only halfway to the rare critters caught though. So that might be a little bit tough to get. But all right, our clan here is actually a lot smaller than than Branch Clan right now because we have so few kits. We have uh, Honeywish who should be expecting kits at some point. Uh, she is expecting kits, it's just not showing for some reason. But I promise you she's pregnant. And you guys by now have figured out who she's pregnant from. So who her mate currently is. That's really, really, really sad. Oh, goodness. And there's Red Kit. So he's sleeping next to the medicine pile. There's Robin Kit. We're going to have to figure out uses for all of these things. But really, these things are only needed if there's medicine cat things needed. Oh, man. Oakpaw. For real. Okay, let's see if Oakpaw needs to have some... Uh, well, let's roll the random generator for him. Okay, Oakpa is totally fine. He is just utterly exhausted. He actually rolled a perfect 100, which is as healthy as a horse as you could possibly get, or healthy as a lion, I guess. Go ahead and rest, Oakpa. I think that he's just hit like utter exhaustion. They've been out searching for Silverfang, trying to find out what they're going to do about this. And the clan, it's kind of amazing because now they're, oh no! I almost forgot to mention this, you guys. There was food left out. There was food left out. Squirrely, how could you? There was two like food left out, the dry kibbly food that got left out by the two leg who came by. And I was going to say, and I totally forgot, that any cat who comes over and eats this food, that is representative of cats who are going to be curious and have to go investigate a two legs house at some point in the near future. So Squirrelip has just earned that happening. When that's going to happen, if she has the energy for it, maybe we'll send her down tonight but she's curious about two legs again maybe life here in the forest has been getting a little rough around the edges moss leaf moss leaf you look a little bit dead over there and now squirrel leap has to go down and investigate the two leg place because that was the risk this food has been left out all of the cats were ignoring it they were told to ignore it by dogays and lion starts two leg food nobody wants kitty pet kibble but squirrel leap has just done that Oh, no. So now we'll have to send her down to interact with the two legs at some point. Oh, gosh. Will that be tonight? Oh, there we go. Honey wishes now officially recognizes being pregnant. About time. That took a lot longer, like days and days, than it normally does. And yeah, there we go. So Honey Wish is expecting her kids. Huzzah, Honey Wish. Huzzah. But it is kind of interesting. Because there's so few cats compared to Branch Clan, other than the minor dramas popping up, it feels a lot calmer. All right, Honeywish Moss Clan just found out she's having a baby. She can't wait to add another member to the family. Oh, how many kids do you guys think she's gonna have? One or four, anywhere in between? Oh, it's Robin Kit, and Robin Kit's growing up like this second, and look who has come to see. It's Lizardpaw. He has just come straight over to see. 
You know, I think with all of the commotion and the hubbub going on, I think Squirrely would leave tonight. I think that she would head down and see what's going on at the Two Leg Place. Oh, there you go, Robin Kate. Okay, let's see how she's doing. All right, so here is Robin Kit, all grown up. She will have to have a apprentice ceremony pretty soon and be considered Robin Paw. Oh my gosh, right now she's still gonna remain Robin Kit until we have the ceremony, which may very well be tonight, but there's a lot going on. So I could see, uh, oh, and Lionstar just caught a rat. So I could see how if they need to wait a little bit in order to get everything done. Oh, look at that, she's headed straight out to go catch things for the clan. Oh my gosh, Robin Kit, you're amazing. She didn't even hesitate. And Lizard Paw is being nuzzled. There goes Red Kit. All right, and Red Kit is ready to grow up too. Let's see how you're gonna look, my friend. So here's little Red Kit. Man, it is such a busy night. You know, because it's such a busy night and because there are so many things going on, I could really see a squirrel leap. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my gosh, doesn't he look so much like his daddy? Oh, he looks so much like his daddy and his brother. Look at that jaw. Red Kit, look at you. Let's see what the first things he's going to do. Oh my gosh, he's a very handsome cat. He is a very handsome cat. So he looks so much like his dad and his brother. That's just so cool. I think Mossleaf, if she was awake, would be rushing over here in order to see what's going on. Honeywish seems curious enough, kind of reacting to everything. Um, let's see, Briarstalk is off to catch a beetle. Oh my goodness. And then, oh, uh, uh, where's Okpa? Is Opa awake yet? No, he's sound asleep. All right, what does Lizard Paw want to do? Mossleaf is still sleeping. Lizard Paw, I think he's too weak today. Present a gift to Robin Kit. I think he's too weak today to be able to go out and do any hunting, but he does have a maple leaf. So after Robin Kit's done with her little hunting, I think that will send him out. And also Squirrely, I feel like she's super curious. I feel like she had the kitty kibble. There's all this activity, all of this stuff going on. Uh, maybe survey from the cat condo. We'll have her do that. Look. Oh, no, Doge. He's not you, too. <laughs> this is kind of unfair because the cats are going to eat from the food if it's here. And they're hungry. And we don't prevent them. But I didn't prevent them because I didn't catch it in time. So I think that Doge's and Squirrel Leap will be the ones who have to go down and maybe investigate. Maybe they want to go see what's going on at the barn. Maybe they're going to go investigate and see what's going on with uh, the two legs out there. But that is just, uh, maybe they, they sort of collude. There's a reason that they're thinking about this together. I just wonder what that reason would be. Ah, uh, but that's the danger of this two-leg food. Now they have to go. Oh, no, Doge's why? No, Doge's. Tommy. Tommy wants to go out. Oh, what, look at Tommy. He wants to catch a turtle. He wants to socialize with Red Kit. He wants all of these things. Why don't you come and eat the ladybug, Tommy? And he still has not caught anything. So that's kind of sad. All right. And then there's a spider caught, which we're, we might as well eat because there's not really any other food. And we'll put a whole bunch of the rodents over here. Let's see, what else do we have for food? Mossleaf did catch that koi fish, which she's going to hand it over. Look at Squirrelleep. Squirrelleep is actually catching like all sorts of rare dragons and Komodo dragons and termites. But it's going to add in quite the interesting dramatic moment to have to send her down to the Two Legs place. I might actually roll a random generator in a minute. And just randomly pick one of the homes that may be near or far, and maybe Squirrelleep and Tomy, or Squirrelleep and Doge's, I wonder if Tomy would go along with them, have decided that they're going to go try to pick up Silver Fang's trail, or maybe they've decided they want to go and investigate something about the two legs. I'm not sure what. All right, but Squirrelleep is going to go ahead. We'll let her sleep for now. I think that we just have a. Um, I can't believe Doge's is eating that too. Maybe she thinks if she should eat it so that she can leave uh, as many of the cats, like the fresh food available as possible. Briarstock is watching bugs too. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. He wants to meet a pet. He wants to groom himself. We'll go ahead and let him groom himself. All right. Groom self. And then what is Robin Kit doing? I really want to see what she's doing. She's trying so hard to hunt on her own. That's a What? She can already stalk for prey? <gasps> Robin Kit! Look at her! Oh my gosh! She's already a level 8 hunter! And her brother is already a level 6 hunter! 
or seven under. I wonder if that long, hard winter, and I wonder if the forest fire, and I wonder if having to be like tough for the clan, I wonder if that's how that helped him out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have him go over, sniff and socialize with his sister. I can't believe that they're already such amazing hunters. I feel like they need to have a chance, but they're still just technically kits, but I could see how they would try to do a little bit of hunting over here really quickly. And then Tommy is over here playing with Squirrely. This is kind of telling you guys that Tommy is sort of like easily distracted. He's sort of just running around. Oh, look at that. And Lizardpaw's coming over to guard the Elderflower. I wonder if he feels that kind of connection with plants that way. That's very interesting. All right, and where's Doge's going? She's just off to sleep somewhere. But yeah, Tommy, ah, uh, now he wants to like, ah, uh, he wants to groom Squirrely, be best friends with Squirrely. Okay, we'll let him groom him. And he's interested in being a hunter, but Tommy just hasn't caught anything yet at all. His hunting skill is up to level three though. All right. And then Oakpaw, I think Oakpaw just has like cracked paw pads and he's probably just really tired and exhausted. So we'll leave him be. Is Lizardpaw just going to go to sleep over here now? He is! All the cats are just kind of snoozing over here. All right. And Briar stalks off to sleep too. He wants to talk to Dogaze. I wonder if him talking to Dogaze would prompt Dogaze to talk to Squirrely because the Squirrely and Dogaze actually are very close. And I wonder if they're going to go off and they're going to go investigate one of the two leg houses. But I wonder why they would do that. Hmm. Hmm. And Lionstar. Meanwhile, Lionstar is just in the background catching all of these bugs and trying to do what he can to take care of the clan. All right. And then let's have him go ahead and let's see. Practice hunting on the catnip toy. Uh, actually, we don't have catnip toys. So I don't know why I left that there. Eat a fish. So I think all of the cat's minds are turning towards fish. I wonder. I don't think they're desperate enough to go on a raid to go and try to, like, consume the fish from Branch Clan. But we, we will keep things... We will keep an eye out on things. Today was busy enough with Lizard Paw waking up and Robin Kit and Red Kit growing up and Honey Wish's pregnancy becoming finally revealed. I don't know why it took so many days for the game to go, oh yeah, she's pregnant. But that was busy enough and I want to keep an eye on Robin Kit and Red Kit and just kind of see what they do. I think we might let them just gently try a little bit of hunting. Um, because if they have the, the instinct for it, I, I couldn't see them really refusing to do it, especially because they know that all the cats are hungry. All right, sniff lizard paw, so Red Kit wants to do that. So actually, I think these two would come over and they would stalk prey together. Oh, he's not a natural hunter. He's lazy and independent. And meanwhile, oh, that's so interesting. Meanwhile, Robin Paw, or Robin Kit, soon to be Robin Paw, is a natural hunter. Huh. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Man, I can't believe we had that two leg show up. I hope none of the other cats could touch the kitty pet food. It was just supposed to be here for today as sort of an event thing. I didn't see Squirrely and Doge's of all the cats being the ones who would end up who would end up falling for it. <gasps> it's hard to maintain a good relationship when you don't call or hang out with your friends. Crowfeather Moss Clan and Mossleaf Moss Clan are no longer friends. Oh, that breaks my heart when we learn that about how, how Lionstar is going to feel about being friends. Oh, it's just going to be so sad. But Lionstar really isn't a young cat anymore. Oh, dear. All right. Well, is he going to go sleep? Oh, I'll have him go ahead and just like sleep over here next to his mate for a little bit. Mossleaf should be waking up soon anyway. But yeah, actually, uh, Honey Wish and Lionstar and Mossleaf are getting really old. They're getting uh, more than, they're getting about halfway through their adult life pretty soon. Oakpaw just caught a chinchilla. <gasps> no! Red Kit! What are you doing? That's a brightly colored snake! Red Kit. Red Kit. Seriously, why couldn't you? Oh my gosh, a cardinal is the first thing Robin Kit went to hunt, you guys. That is so fitting. Okay, so, ah, oh, this is so fitting for both of them. Oh, so Robin Kit came over and the first thing that she's trying to hunt before she's even an apprentice because kits sometimes do do that it happens a lot in the books too is a cardinal probably because she was attracted by the feathers but the first thing that Red Kit tried to hunt is actually a venomous snake and I think it's because he really is tired of, of uh, I don't think he's frustrated tired I just think that he really wants to prove himself to his older brother and to his dad, and he figures, hey, this is a great way to do it before he's even properly an apprentice. 
because he wouldn't be think he would be thinking with the immaturity of a, a kit who has just turned into apprentice age. Ah, uh, please defeat this snake, please. I honestly, I really don't. Oh no! Ah, uh, let's roll to see if he got bit. <sighs> Lucky for him, he's fine, but I think when his brother and his dad find out what he just did with trying to go ahead and catch a venomous snake without like any formal training or any help, I don't think that's going to go over very well. So that was Red Kit. Did Robin, did Robin Kit, and she caught her cardinal meanwhile. Oh my gosh. So Robin Kit caught her cardinal. So is she meant to be going the path of the medicine cat? And is she meant to be gathering up items to be put into the medicine den? Or is she meant to be a hunter? Because she's already such a great hunter. She's got clearly a very strong natural talent and skill for it. Oh, this is going to be so hard to figure out. Why are you vomiting, Tommy? Who knows? I am not sure why. That's attractive, Tommy. I think he ate a bug too fast. Ew, Tommy. All right, we'll have to figure out what's going on with him, too. All right, meanwhile, I need to also take care of my spirit of the land. Sorry about that, Willow. Didn't mean to do that. All right, and she can just go ahead and work on her writing. All right, continue writing. What is Oakpaw doing? <laughs> He's trying to sneak over here. And Oakpaw wants to talk to Jogies, talk to his dad, improve his hunting skill. Um, I think he's going to come over and interrupt Lionstar. So we'll send Oakpaw over here. All right, go here. But yeah, sorry if today was a little bit disjointed. I'm mostly just following the cats around and kind of letting them tell the story today. And I think that's very interesting. And we're going to have to see what's going to happen next time because I feel like we can't ignore the fact, one, that Mossleaf has fleas, which is always pleasant. We have to get rid of her fleas, I guess. Doges! Doges! Oh, and she wants to nuzzle with Oakpaw. There's Oakpaw, just right on time. Showing up, why don't we go ahead, have her nuzzle. Oakpaw, you can wait for your dad for just a second. Meanwhile, your dad's trying to fall asleep on you. And then we'll have her go over to Dogaze. Is Dogaze awake? Yeah, we'll have her go over and interact with Dogaze. And Oakpaw can come over. Oh, now Oakpaw has the fleas! No! Oakpaw, maybe I should just quarantine you. Okay, I'm gonna let him use the litter box. And actually, we'll bring Dogaze out. Okay, where are you, Dogaze? There you are. And have her get rid of the fleas really quickly. Because I think we do have enough citrus related things. Yeah, we do have the three citrus limes. So we do have those. And then what were we doing? I think, yeah, it was always three citruses that we'll use to get rid of fleas. So we'll try to take care of that. All right. And then let's see. There we go. And then we'll come over here. And then sniff. Nope, stay right there, moss leaf. I want to get rid of your fleas, and then I'll have to go and have poor Dogaze deal with the fleas that Oakpaw has managed to get as well. Do I have enough citrus? I only have, yeah, I have just enough citrus. There's three there, there's three there. So Dogaze will get rid of them. But yeah, today has been kind of a bit of a laid back day. Uh, other than the fact that, you know, Lizardpaw woke up and he's off to try to catch things on his own. Sniff Red Kit, Groom Robin Kit. He really is just so enchanted with his younger siblings all of a sudden. And then Oakpaw. <laughs> Oakpaw, you're gonna get you're gonna get yourself cleared up of all these fleas too. Sniff and socialize. Alright, nope, you can't get fleas, Doge, so you're fine. Alright, and then we're definitely gonna say we're gonna come over here. Is that really a lizard paw? I can't believe lizard paw's actually doing that. I'm kind of impressed actually. Oh, uh, can I get rid of these somehow? Okay. I will I will get rid of these citrusy things. Don't you guys worry. One, two, three. So there's three there. And then four, five, and then six. So I'll get rid of all of their fleas. Just really quickly before we go. But yeah, I know today I was really laid back. Some days the cats just take the story away from us and we don't even have to worry about it because it just goes so chaotic. Other days things are a little bit more peaceful. And today... Despite like all of the growing up and the pregnancy announcements and everything else that's go gone down, today is just kind of one of those more peaceful days. And apparently Lizardpaw is just like catching things now. All right, that's pretty amazing. And he really wants to hang out with his, his siblings. All right, so Oakpaw, Dogaze is gonna go ahead and cure you of your fleas as well. Cause she, that's where like the sickness 
of Last Leaf Bear started is when so many of the cats ended up getting fleas. Lionstar got pretty sick quite often uh, last winter, actually, so it's a good thing that we found a resource to at least cure some of those fleas. Good, so that's taken care of. And Robin Kit, she's good. Red Kit, he's good. Let's make sure. Lizard Paw, he's like, I don't want to use that nasty litter box. Lizard Paw's good. And we'll take care of him and feed him. But I'm really quite concerned because Briarstock is pretty depressed right now. And we're going to have to kind of address the fact that he's super depressed. He has just become the deputy. He has lost Silverfang. He has, in a way, like, without... His, like out of his control broken his promise to take care of the clan while well, honey wish had to wait a little while honey wish don't go chase the spirit of the land it's not the spirit of the land's fault but honey wish um is expecting her kits and she's feeling the effects of having in a way her her grief just all of the grief that she's currently going under so she's definitely going to be pretty depressed. Briarstock's depressed because he let her down and because he feels like he turned around, tried to go patrol down by the old herb place, the odd herb place, came back and a two-leg had just wandered into camp and stolen one of their cats. So I think he'd be upset about that. Okpa, Dogaze, don't you dare. Oh my gosh, Dogaze. She's guarding the cat food. Ah, that's nasty two-leg cat food. And we definitely have to do something about this because that food was put down as kind of an event trigger to see which cats, if any, of the clan would reject the the healthy food in the prey pile, which is actually mostly made up. This is kind of a pathetic prey pile. It's got a couple good lizards. Don't mind, like, don't mind that. But then it's got, like, rotten honeycomb, puke because of Tomy, a whole bunch of beetles in here. That's going to start causing a bit of a stressor. So I definitely think that Lionstar is going to have to start thinking very seriously about what to do with the kits. Because Robin Kit has already proved herself to be a bit of a hunter. Though nobody knows that yet. She'll be able to show that off later. Red Kit, not so much. He clearly needs a very talented, skilled apprentice or a mentor. But we already have, like, Briarstock is already mentoring Oakpaw. So who's left? Squirrely, but it, like, is she trustable to be a mentor? Is she focused enough? Tomy is not officially a member of the clan yet. But if a cat cannot catch anything, then can they be a member of that clan? Like, is he just going to be, Lionstar might be looking at some serious questions of if Tomy might just kind of be a drain on the clan. So we're going to have to see what happens there with everyone. And I really am very suspicious about Dogaze's motives. And I'm very suspicious about the way that she and Squirrelleep really are very, very close friends. I think they're best friends. Yeah, they're best friends. They're super close. So I'm a little suspicious about what Dogaze might try to do. And what Squirrelleep might try to do or what Squirrelleep might try to do and what Dogaze may do because Squirrelleep tried to do it. So, hmm, I don't know what those two ladies are going to get up to, but I have a feeling it's going to be trouble. And then otherwise, the clan is very tiny right now, and I am hoping the random generators will assist in that and not assist with the annihilation of the clan. I'm not sure I would fight the random generators if one cat after another after another... You can't drink that, sweetie. If one cat after another after another would end up like being eliminated if there was only one cat left in the clan how tragic would that be what would happen would they decide to join a new clan mostly founded her own clan what would happen if it was just say like oak paw all of a sudden if some another terrible forest fire came through huh we would really have to face those stories as they come not a terribly bad day today. Also worth noting that when Mossleaf got hungry and wanted food, she may not have come running over for the lizards and the rotting honeycomb inside of the prey pile, but she didn't go anywhere near this. So, hmm. I think she's a little bit more wild at heart for sure than Dogaze and Squirrelleep, who did used to live at the barn. So we'll see what those ladies get up to next time. We'll keep an eye on Honey Wish and see how her pregnancy progresses. We'll, we'll definitely be rolling some random generators every time to put a risk for each cat something happening to them. When they go out, when they fight, I might even start making it so if they lose fights, they have a chance of, with prey items, they have a chance of a small injury. Just teeny tiny ones most of the time, but just a small chance of it to start using these items. If you guys have more ideas on how these items could be used, let me know. I think that Dogaze is just going to get rid of all the honey, even though she was trying to kind of keep it because Silverfang gathered it. 
it has its horrifying quality. I don't think we need rotten honey that could risk making everyone quite sick. And the prey pile is still pretty darn empty. All right, you guys, we'll see what stories and adventures the cats had to tell us next time. And we'll have to see if maybe Doge's and Squirrel Leap of all of the cats of the clan happen to be the ones who try to go and maybe find out what happened to Silverfang and where that two leg ran off with him. So I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.